it is Melissa Peoples with Admin Gurus, and I wanted to take a minute and upload a updated version of one of my most popular videos, Analyzing Your Executive's Calendar. So let's just be honest, that very first video I did, which I think was actually one of my very first videos, uh, the audio quality was nothing short of horrible, and so I wanted to update this um, so that it has just the training portion of it. So I hope that you enjoy it. If you have suffered through that first video, this video is just for you. So thank you for all of your love and support. We are talking about analyzing your executive's calendar. All right, so the first thing that you wanna do is go to file. Then you wanna to go to open and export. From there, go ahead and click on Import Export and choose Export a File, and then Next. You want to choose the Comma Separated Values or CSV file, hit Next. I'm going to go ahead and just use my calendar. All right, so here, let's just change this. I'm going to just say Melissa's Export. Then hit Next. You can go ahead and just hit finish at this point. You, this is not relevant for what we're doing. So just go ahead and hit finish. And because you have reoccurring meetings on the calendar, it's gonna ask you how long of a date range should I look for. I'm just gonna do two months on mine, but if, it's the, if this is the first time that you've done this, I would highly suggest you doing a year. Now, of course, this is gonna take a little bit of time if you do a full year. So uh, don't do this sometime when you're like right in the middle of needing to schedule a bunch of meetings. Um, and then go ahead and hit OK. It's going to export it from there. I told it to go to my desktop. All right, so from here, it imports all of the information that you'll need to analyze your executive's calendar. Of course, you can go and filter it. You can sort it by subject, anything that you want to do. You can look on your recurrence. All of the information is here for you to analyze, with the goal being that you analyze the data, then you go back with your executive, schedule time, sit down with them, and have a very uh, real conversation about how they're using the time, is the right cadence um, happening, is there things need to, get to be pulled forward or pushed back, so this is where you get all that information from. There's another tool that you can use, so let's go back to our Outlook calendar, and then if you notice, once I click into the search bar, all of these new options come up. I'm gonna get rid of these so you can see what it looks like without those there. So if I wanted to check all the reoccurring meetings on my executive's calendar, I'd click more and then down here under reoccurring and I would choose the option of yes. And then it's gonna put up, pull from here all of the meetings that are reoccurring and, and here it is by the start date. If you'd rather choose the subject, you could do that. If you try, would rather by category, you could do that as well. Um, and then let's just go ahead and get out of that. Let's just say that you, um, let's do a differentizer. So as you can see, there is a ton of tools in here for you um, to utilize and figure out, you know, what is happening within my executive's calendar. I would highly suggest if this is something that, um, do the, the full export first, and then from there, once you've done that, you can, on a quarterly basis, utilize the search option and kind of look through there and making sure that everything is still in the right place um, or where it needs to be. So I hope this is very helpful. If you have any questions, as we always do, comment below, ask your questions below, and we'll be sure to answer you. Thanks, everyone, and have a great day. Bye.